back. Houston is changing things around. They're on their second two-game winning streak. After losing three, they're four and seven. They're going against the division leader, Jacksonville, here in week 13. With a win, they're going to put themselves in an opportunity to be one game back, essentially, or a game and a half back of the division. And again, just two weeks ago, we were two and seven, looking for, you know, making vacation plans. Now, with a chance to actually win the division with some solid play, again, Jacksonville is leading the division as Indianapolis has taken their time to just crumble as well, starting the season four and one. So, you know, with the win here, we're, we're in the driver's seat. Got two games against Jacksonville left this game here and the last game of the season. So, you know, we kind of control our own destiny right now. And Jacksonville took the opening drive right down our throat. So we got some work to do here. But again, been pretty solid on maintaining the possession of the football. Defense has come up with some big stops. So one thing we got to try to look for is, you know, just capitalize on the simple mistakes and then take advantage of the time that we have. So, you know, just uh, J.C. Crumb's got to have the composure as a second-year quarterback trying to lead his team to a possible playoff berth, which, you know, a nice deflection there. First down, this team is confident right now. You know, double the win total from last season. And, you know, the season's not even over yet. we got a chance. All right, one second to go in the first quarter. And tries to get the Cochran on the out route. But couldn't do it. Third and five. First down and goal. Here we go. We got a chance. And Mabin, rookie Mabin, with the four-yard touchdown, going for two. Maven brings in the two-point conversion as Houston takes the lead. And Jacksonville takes it right down their throats. Hits their conversion, 15 to 8. Okay, we got a minute left here. Try to make something happen. Maybe get in field goal range. We do get the ball at halftime. So we're still in the driver's seat, so to speak. And getting out of bounds. Make sure we use the clock to our advantage. Cocker, nice grab there. Gets out of bounds as well. Gain of 10. First down. Going for a deep pass. Caught Mabin for a gain of 11 to about the 50-yard line. Nobody's open. Ah, tries to get him on the comebacker, but just couldn't reel it in. Shoestring catch, but no dice. Mabin goes. Couldn't get out of bounds. The clock is ticking. 17 seconds left to go. Tries to get him in the middle of the field. Down to about the 32-yard line, 10 seconds left. First down. Gets back on the comebacker and gets out of bounds with four seconds. Field goal time. And it's up. It's good. All right, great use of getting back into scoring position. Get the ball here. Go drive down their throats and make this happen. So 15 to 11. Jacksonville still has the lead. But again, with the... The confidence Houston is having as of the last two games, they got a chance to do something here. First, they got to execute and take care of business on this drive. And takes off, second and inches. Goes to the outside. Oh, wow. He gets knocked back a couple yards. But still, first down nonetheless. But those big hits do, they do add up. Slides in there for a gain of five. Gets it out to the running back. Quick screen. Dives in there for six. First down. Chains moving. Uh, quick out for two yards to the tight end, Shelvin. Where are we going with the ball? Nowhere to go. Screen play. Running back couldn't bring it in. Give me third and eight. Long third down. Trying to get. Ah, tackled short of the first down. Fourth and one. And the Goran Forts. And he, oh my, eludes the tackler. Slides in there for a gain of nine. That was a almost sack. And he picked it off. Oh, that's that one is unfortunate. The cornerback jumped the route on the screen to the tight end. And Jacksonville goes right down, scores a touchdown, up 11. With two minutes left to go here. Started the fourth quarter. 
Ah, man. You could see it. The possibility is slipping away. Now they got to make some quick use of time here. They got to get a quick score. Can't mess around at all. And takes a big hit, but gets rid of the ball just in time to the 50 yard line. Got to move the chains. Makes a couple of defenders miss. Stays in bounds. That's not going to help him. Again, these young, young receivers, man, they got to. They got to know where they're at in the field. They throw the ball up the middle. Time is ticking away. Got a minute and 10 seconds left. Screen to the running back. Cochran, gain of eight. Again, stays in bounds. Minute left to go. Down by 11. You're going to need two scores. So they need a touchdown. To the 10-yard line. Great shot for eight yards there, or about 10 yards. First down and 10. The comebacker can't bring it in. Wasted down there. Gets him over the middle, over the defender. What a great touchdown there. They need two points. It's got to happen. And J.C. Crum takes off, dives in it. Hey, right, onside kick time. Can you believe? They get the onside kick. 34 seconds left to go. They got a chance here. Not going to happen that way. 30 seconds to go. They need to get a field goal. Even better, they can get an amazing opportunity for a 40-yard touchdown. That would be kind of cool. 20 seconds left to go. Gets out of bounds, moving the chains, making it a little easier. And gets the out close. Defender was breathing down his throats. All right, gets to the middle of the field, making it an easy field goal. Three, two, one, timeout for the tie. Get up, it's good, it's in. Tie game, we're going to overtime. Jacksonville gets the ball and they score. Just like that, all that hard work. Just down the drain. Two-game winning streak crushed again. The hands of the division leader, Jacksonville. What to do, what to do, what to do. Oh, man. Well, got a few games left to go. See you guys in Atlanta. Try to see if we can salvage our season. Four and eights. Had an opportunity. See you next week.